I suppose there's a, I mean, there's a young man who grew up in Soweto who chanted uh, vociferously and regularly and repeatedly that we wanted to see freedom in our lifetime. The day that marks a relative freedom is, uh, is uh, one a joyous one, uh, one a representation that, that well, that freedom is, in, is inevitable, really. that, uh, that uh, to use the words of, uh, of Linton Cody Johnson, that all that oppression does is heighten passion, you know, to near eruption. And, uh, and so it's a reminder for that, of that. And on this day, I think it's important to, for those that we put in power, for those that we entrust, and for each and every one of us as participants and as active citizens, to, um, to ponder what it means when we see the kind of protest of discontent that lifts up the land, uh, to remember what this was meant to mean, uh, that this day was meant to mark an era in which there was freedom of association, freedom of movement, um, and freedom to live in dignity. And I suppose that, and that's the thing that we need to ponder even more. Um, when Linton Kwasi Johnson says that freedom is a very fine thing, you know, and, and I don't really know what he means, but for me it's about the fragility of it, it's about the need to nurture it. Um, and for me, when we fail, uh, on this day, we should ponder what we do to ensure that these generations are empowered with the necessary skills, with the necessary infrastructure, with the necessary know-how to, to be able to step forward into the future. More than anything else, this day must mean a, a reflection a reflections on ourselves, of our times, and think about how we are every day nurturing this